If you don't have it, you are truly missing what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, your host, Joseph? What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Joseph, and welcome to another unboxing here on Fiction Eat Flow. Today, I am bringing you the unboxing for the Marvel's Collector's Core Eternals box. So this was supposed to arrive in November, but due to shipping delays and all kind of other problems, Amazon contacted me and let me know that it was not going to arrive in time. However, it is just in time for the January 12th premiere on Disney Plus, so it kind of works out. So let's go open this box and let's see what we have inside. All right, the first thing I see I like a lot is this pen from the Eternal. So this is one of the symbols that is featured a lot in the movie, as well as on some of the comic books and in their design and the costume. I really like this one. This is one of the larger pins they've ever given me in the box compared to some of the other ones. So this one's a keeper right here. Moving right along, see what the next item is that I received. All right, this is the shirt. I gotta check out this design because I always love the different designs of the shirt. So this particular shirt has all the Eternals on it. It's an interesting design, not my favorite, I have to be 100% honest, but I do appreciate the entire cast is on here in their costumes and in their Funko Pop style. Normally the Funko Pops don't have too many facial expressions, but this one seems to have um, pretty interesting ones. Um, I saw some different Eternal shirts that I liked a lot more. So it's an okay shirt for me, but it's not the best one. The third item in the box is, of course, the decal. Now, I've said this before in previous unboxings, I really don't like the decals. They're oh, they're just okay, because I have no use for them, except for putting on a computer, but I don't want my whole computer full of them. So this one is a decal of Athena. I mean, the image is good, but once again, I have no point. It's like a sticker, right? So the old school Marvel Collectors Core, when they first put these out, they used to come with five items as well. So it was always a shirt, it was a pen, typically a Funko Pop or two, and it was a exclusive comic book that you couldn't get in stores or anywhere else. It was only with the collector core box. Now, I really enjoyed those because it was like getting something special that no one else had unless they were part of the collector core, but it maybe got too expensive it's for them to put it out. So when Amazon took it over, they kind of changed it, but I wish they would do something different than a sticker or a decal. If you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear some different ideas about what other items they could put in the box that would work every time. All right, so items four and five are two pack. Once again, they've given me two new Funko Pops and I'm really excited about these. All right. So the first pop is a Kango. All right, it's a exclusive, it's Kango in his Bollywood outfit. And this is a particular scene in the movie when he's talking to all the other Eternals when they're kind of getting back together and he takes them on his private jet to get to a specific location. I like it because it also displays his fingers when he's using his power. So he uses his fingers and kind of uses them as guns and he shoots his cosmic energy out using those. And it's shown there on this particular box. So you get a nice little view of that. Okay, here's a better view on the side. Once again, this is an exclusive pop that you can only get in the Marvel Collector Core box. The other pop, and I really like this one, is of uh, Icarus. It's him in his battle pose. He has on his full cosmic eternal armor, and his eyes are lighting up. So Icarus' power is uh, flight, and he shoots lasers out of his eyes. So this one is a pretty good exclusive pop to have. Here's another view from the side of what the full image looks like. The side one. I love the detail they put into this one as well with the white streak in his hair because he's gotten a little bit older over the centuries. All right, and there's everybody in the back. Now, I have to admit, I would have enjoyed having a, a fastest pop. That's just my personal purpose, like an exclusive one of him. But I am satisfied with what I have. So, so far, the items once again in this particular box are the pen, the 
the decal. The shirt. And the two pops. Now I'll give you a quick history of Eternals. Uh, there's another group also called the Externals. And so I know you get confused, people are heard people say Eternals and Externals. So the Externals are a group of mutants that are immortal. So they can't die either. So there are certain externals that exist in the X-Men and other mutant groups. They have the power of reincarnation where they can come back from the battle. Uh, the Eternals are a little bit different. So there's a hierarchy to describe with the Eternals. So you have the Celestials who are first. They're considered to be like gods and planet-sized people. They actually help create the universe and create the galaxies and the planets. And so they then create the Eternals to watch over the planets that they've helped create. The Eternals came to Earth to watch over the planet. The Eternals messed with human evolution and genetics and started giving them their powers. And so therefore, society evolved a lot differently than it would normally have on the planet. And you're like, why did they do this? Well, it kind of goes back to the Celestials. Celestials are born ever so often, like it takes centuries or even millennia for Celestials. When the Celestials are born and they create the galaxies, they put a seed into the planet. And when they put this seed in, it has to cultivate for hundreds or even thousands of years. The celestial seed cannot mature until there's enough bioenergy on the planet. And so basically what happens when the seed matures, it actually bursts through the planet and destroys it. So it's kind of like this weird symbiotic almost relationship where, yes, in order to have more the galaxies to continue or to have the planets and stars, we need the celestials because they make those. But unfortunately, when they're born, they destroy the planet and billions of lives are lost. So it's a weird, like, give and take relationship. And that's been my brief explanation of the Eternals. Feel free to check out Eternals on Disney Plus on January 12th. And I'll be bringing you another box next time. So typically they send me these little cards that kind of tell you everything that's in the box, so a brief rundown. Here's the card. And you go in the back, they tell you what's coming next. Unfortunately, there's nothing existing. I think part of it because the shipping delay, because the other box should have been here this month in January. Uh, but I have heard some rumors. The rumors are that the next box will be a MCU box. And if that is true, I am very excited for that box because I can only imagine what exclusive MCU things they're going to put in it from the shirt, the pin, and even the pops. So hopefully it'll be two really good exclusive MCU pops. And I will check you out next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Peace. What's up, what's up, what's up? We are talking about fiction in flow. What's up? If you don't have it, you are truly missing. Fiction in flow. What's up?